second in that one. That's certainly enough time. Team Secret to get this melee racks. Afterlife running interference here with a spike hair voice, but it's still having some issues. Minwan's gonna drop pretty fast here, swap back, but he still has the X marks to spot. The counter's there, but he does imprison himself in time. And oh, Lawa Dance is in trouble. That Diffuser Blade, the Phantom Lancer is such a threat to these two cores. You're gonna see G drop as well. MP is here, and he's here to clear all of Vega Squadron off the map. Chronosphere finally gets there, but there's no follow up. Invoker's dead. It's just him swinging his mace, and that's not gonna do a whole lot. They're still gonna be able to get the Kunkka. Aloha Dance is gonna die. Just call it. Tap out. Aloha Dance says GG. That game was all been one. Oh my goodness. Yes, it was. Did he do a lot of damage on OD? Like the the way the farm is being used is not efficient. That is, that NB is always the one secret of trying to go on this game. Yeah, his his positioning being great. That's actually definitely been the. One of the best parts about his ah, play. Ah, you say that, guys. But Secret come in from the rear. Yaps are there with the hook. He's going to find Pi. Gets out of the cards. Maybe into trouble, though, as he's somewhat trapped on the far boundary of them. Envy working on mid one. Can they focus him down? Fauna in tandem with him. Will jump oh, him, but Eblade e -blade. helping for now. Keeping that Invoker alive. Still, he's roasting. Lasso will end him. He has to buy back. He's out for two minutes. He has no choice. He has to re engage in now. MP patient on the Eclipse. Let's it fly. Locking Envy down. They're going to deal with that armadillo. They will finish him up. And looking for more now. Is Secret, find their footing, people crashing through, taking the TA down too, it's an ultra for MP, and MP might have to buy back a rainbow of buybacks for, in an instant, they say we can't afford to let Secret push. In the meantime, QO is, uh, he's on business time, he's gonna get right on top of this Medusa, start draining her mana. Again, he's no commitment. Actually, no, full commitment. The hook shot in straight towards Kenny. They jump in, duel in the middle, but the static link is there with the burrow strike on top. Sword's gonna get the win, but will lose his life for it. Stake gonna bounce through. MP getting hit pretty hard here as MSS jumps a three man coil. Again, the Medusa is in this fight, and she doesn't want to be. She's out, so will Way to Ultra kill for MP. Here comes Jason with the blink dagger epicenter. Will do a little bit of damage to Febby, a little bit of damage to the Chen as well. Cogs are up, and Febby's maybe gonna protect Dubu's escape path out of here. And it looks like he will survive as MSS. Is gonna jump right back into the cogs and Fabi survives. One kill out of that. That's a pretty good average. I mean, there's been some simultaneous action, but I feel like I've been okay. Yeah, but that's it's gonna been be... pretty good. It's been nice and steady. You know, he has a little. Yeah. Here, pardon me for a sec. Silver. Kyle dead. Yeah, Kyle's dead. We'll just let him I go. I was already there and on that one, Grant. Yeah, I feel like but the biggest thing, right, Abed is going to get Silverets next, and then the Abaddon, if he doesn't, he, he can't instant proc his ult then, and they just, I think they just win the game at that point. Like, Moo's the only reason. Reload coming They're on not the bottom yet. lane. Reload's on bottom. Chessie will be initiated on, has the Frost Armor up, will it be enough to oh, save? No, this tree is swinging over other trees. They kill Moon Meander, probably not going to be enough, though. Deep Freak in a lot of trouble, and Tiny still has the Aegis, even if he does go down. Mason stacking up stuns right now. Wait. Obi hits on to Chessy who bought back. back. Oh no, and he buys back into hell itself. Nice triple stun coming out of Abed. Chessy dead. We're gonna see Limp more than likely go down here as well. Moo just getting his ass spanked. He's, just getting hit rampage. Rampage. He's going for it. He's swinging there. He is. Hooray! Abed gonna run into Matama Man. Feels very confident here. The rest of his team coming in to back him up. Highlight die on the low ground. Trying to see what they can get. Did he catch Kuro again? And yes, they will. Find him. He has no BKB. GH turns around. Okay, maybe thinking about fighting this one, but this does not look like a good fight. Matumba Man can't do nearly enough damage to threaten Abed's first life, let alone a second life. They're going to be able to go for more here. Pilot die, kinetic field. Blink ahead by GH. Abed's just going to keep going into the base. He goes. Glimpse back by Pylai Die. GH is now in the middle of no man's land. Apparently, Abed doesn't really care. He goes for Heen first now. Able to slow down Matumba Man. BKB going to be forced out. That carry. Not long for this world. My control. Him either. Ultra kill for Abed and a GG from. Give him the rampage. Give him the rampage. They're pinging for it. He wants to slow him. They're waiting. Yay! Bad, you know, yeah, it, it's a mismatch. I mean, the, the idea was that he was that type of player, right? Yeah. He's, I mean, Abed is like, it's, a, it's yeah. just a really talented player. How about when you play with uh, Arteezy mid? What? Arteezy mid fell know. off. Uh, my my friend lost uh, lane to Bear. Or Dude, Tiny. That lane is so stupid. It's actually such a stupid lane. You can't do any. It's like, Nisha God, man. Oh, uh, so was so it a 1v1 though? Yeah. And ah. also, you even called it out. You said he had two bounties. I didn't have any bounties. Alright, so that's mega creeps for Fnatic, probably game being called. Nope. Yeah. 
So, if I'm not completely mistaken, LGD is eliminated? Yeah, they are. Yeah. But, they are not But the next game out. is so... It's like Raven wants to make his way over, but he blinked dagger. I don't think this is gonna happen. Go ahead and farm. Black needs to actually fire off that swap. He's gonna run to the right side, smoke break. He swaps him into the trees, and that should be a very easy kill. They blow him up very fast. So Rip is not gonna be available. Nice stun by XY. Well, this tombstone is in perfect position, though. This might be That's a, a three-man DK. Raven comes back in. That's well, nobody dies just yet. Black gets lifted back here, but it's gonna be Tim's gonna be the first one. Oh to go my out. god. And then now Black. It's gonna survive as well. XY making it happen. He is gonna finally die. Raven gets surrounded. He's gonna have the Malachic on him as well. And they ignore Ice Ice Size. That's an ultra kill on Ice Ice Size. Might make it a rampage. Oh my Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, rampage. We are 11 minutes okay. in, guys. I think they have recovered after that team fight. That gold grab. Rolling Thunder actually stopping Fauna that and managed so to get the back line. That disrupts everybody. The Ice Shards is going to hold these oh, people in. Chaotic. And now he managed to get right in the middle of everything with a snowball landing onto. And they're going to finish on the Bloodseeker. Pretty easily get the Glim Sack on a oh, puppy. My. That's four down. I have no idea if Ice 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 meant for that to happen. That was unbelievable. The Rolling Thunder hitting Fauna while he's trying to get the initiation on and everybody he gets else. And the entire but... team in the back line. Oh. They're all on the high ground. Five men smoke up, roll into the pit. This is the big one. They've got the double RP. No, ice, ice, ice. They've got oh, one. Oh, he's got three. They're going to lock him down straight into the ultimate of the SF. He blows them all up. That's three down, potentially four. But Tom and no, he's going to be bashed as well. They can run him down pretty easily. What a clutch play from Ice, Ice, Ice. So sick. I mean, I'm, I'm just watching DJ now. He is the happiest Shadow Shaman I've ever seen in my life. Let's see, there is no sentries. There, there are no sentries here. Oh no, there is actually a recently placed one. Oh, you need to be careful, dude. You need to be careful. Oh, the Song of the Siren. One, two, three. Oh, the, oh my god, this is too much. They are just Diamond Tinker. Oh, they end with style. Mm. And they really stop those wars. The glyph gets popped. The meme hammers here. The refresher, double meteors, double defeating blasts. Buy back on Ace. Buy back on Tidehunter. Buy back on Tusk. The Ravage is here, but GG gets called. Owen oh, holding on the Zep misses again, but there's the Infest Bomb, and this time Ohio's in trouble. Roar will come out, they have the Magnetize, they get off the Silence as well, and Ohio will get right put down. The Exorcism will go for Mushi, doing a decent amount of damage to end Red Zip. The Boar Slow comes through, he has no Infest, he has the Armor Toggle, needs to be careful, the Spirit Sight coming out, the Glimps back out to Aggressive, gets it back in there, they get the Grave off in time though, the Open Wolf will come through, they have the Kinetic Field, there's the Black Hole, oh, Red Wolf, Grave, to three! They really want to contest this and take it down as quickly as possible. They get the refresh for Ohio. It's coming out. Double Roar is ready. Can they find a kill off of this? Maybe he's walking up with the Silver Edge. Ohio's going to get caught first. Ravage catches on it too. Black Hole counter initiation. Static Storm on top. Aggressive is low. They get off the Static Storm. Shallow pops the refresher. Sad enough. Maybe he's getting two through. Five men one. They get off the Roar. They'll lose two. They'll lose three. They buy back on the tide. He's got another Ravage. They have no buyback on Maybe. What an initiation from D. And they'll find another one. They get MMY. Min one gets a double. The crowd is going absolutely freaking nuts. You want this kill to be Spencer Goes up, comes out. He gets the roar off as well. They have Blink Black Hole. He's looking for it. Can't find it. He missed it on Navy. He actually misses it. Maybe still though in trouble. About to fall. And Chad Remy comes out from seven. Still though in trouble. Maybe comes out the grave. Comes through. Aggressive and Shaoi going to work. Maybe very low. No, the Black Hole. Second lane of Rax, that Arc Warden is not threatening whatsoever. Miracle jumping forward. An aggressive Sunder, not even letting himself drop anywhere close to low. Any little bit in this kind of game matters, as the bottom range Rax does fall, though, for the Radiant. Liquid looks like they're just trying to control this Roshan area. Get Aegis number three out there with the oh, cheese. Oh, I love this play. 
Their five man smoked up. They've got the oh, blink dagger sunder ready to go. Oh. Jabs is sitting at 300. There's no BKB either on Miracle. This Miracle. is perfect. They, they get inside. the right kind of initiation. Blink Here you go. There goes the sunder with the initiation. Telekinesis jabs. You got you, Maneski. They pull the rabbit out of the hat. And might have just won a fight around the Roshan pit. It's just the carry, though, of Team Liquid. They're going to try and catch more here. GH managed to get the rolling. Oh, Never the mind. Moon blinks right in front of him. Nah, buddy, on the stop sign here. GH still gets the blink ahead. They managed to get no damage onto him after the Yield Scepter. Meanwhile, what's our Viper doing? Looks like Mushi's locked onto a hero. Around the bottom. He has to run forward. Oh, they have sentries down. They already had one pre prepared slot. He's got the Agency Mortal. He's got BKP. So if they fiend strip, which is exactly what happens. Moon jumps in, gets the Dragon Tails off. The Storm is good. Mushi, he's looking. To steal a little bit more before it goes down. He won't burn the BKB just yet, but DK inside of this Aghanim storm is just way too much. But Ninja, oh, not again. He stole the Eclipse again. They turn it around with the Omni Knight. He tried to protect it with GA, but the damage is all pumping out of Mushi. Not what BGJ Storm wanted. Now the Lunar is isolated. Another stun. Another huge fight for Maneski. And give this guy something. Jabs, you hero. He stole GA too. That's an XGA! That's unbelievable! Oh my god! Two buybacks again, but...